Welcome back. Hi. I'm going to hand this one straight over to Linda today. She's going to talk you through a few of her abdo scanning tips and introduce you to her new alter ego, DJ Sono Mama. Let's get ready to meet <laughs> DJ Sono Mama. <laughs> I always explain to them, of course, what we're going to do. Uh, I say, at this examination, I'm going to use ultrasound to have a look at your liver, your gallbladder, your pancreas, your kidneys, your spleen, all those bits and pieces in there. Just like a 25,000 kilometer degrees in oil, really. When I start the ultrasound, I also like to explain to them about breathing techniques, because it's much better if your patient breathes in through their nose and noisily because then you can hear the stage of breathing they're at and you can get the rhythm going in case you want to re repeat a, a respiration amount. And if they breathe in through their mouth, they tend to gulp too much gas down into their tummy and that's a pain in the butt to start with. Anyway, that's how I start. Good explanation of what I'm gonna do and why and then your patient's on your, um, on your side. When you start looking at the pancreas, make sure you use that acoustic window. If you use that left lobe of liver as the acoustic window, it sits on top of the pancreas beautifully. So go right up to the ziffy, angle down, and you'll see that pancreas. Instead of just plonking the transducer straight over the top of the pancreas, then you'll probably just get gas. When you've got the patient on their right decubitus, because you always put them there anyway when you're looking at the spleen and the left kidney, have a quick whip around and look at the pancreas in transverse again because very often and especially skinny patients you'll see the pancreatic head really well with them in the decubitus position and if that doesn't work fill with them with water because if you fill them with water the stomach wraps around into the duodenum and it just gives you a nice outline there you go this is the stomach with water in it and i've just rolled the patient onto the right decubitus and you can see that the stomach actually gives you more of a, an acoustic window to look at the tail and then around to the head. It's worthwhile anyway if you can't see the pancreas really well and especially if they're really quite concerned about perhaps the mass in the tail or the head. Isn't that not the most beautifully seen pancreas? <laughs> Check that out! So as far as the liver goes, just make sure you take pictures that actually represent what you've seen. If you've got lovely smooth margins to the liver, show that. Don't take one where it looks patchy and irregular if it isn't that way at all. Just take your time and get just the right images. While I'm on the acoustic window rambling, and I know I keep going on about it, but when your patient's in the left decubitus position, don't forget to try and use the gallbladder itself as an acoustic window to look at the bile ducts and follow it down distally using that fluid in the gallbladder. Every little hint helps. Anyway, it's been a big day in the ultrasound room, so now it's time to head home, unleash and become DJ Sono Mama. Explain your reasons from the start. They'll understand and play their part. Noisy breaths in through the nose. Hear that rhythm is how it goes. Acoustic windows you must use or your boss will blow their fuse. Go up high to the ziffy. Pivot down, make it spiffy. Can't see the tail, can't see the head. Roll them on the side, scan the cubitus instead. Still can't see that pancreas, sit them up, least you tried. No CT or MR around, only choice is ultrasound. Desperate times, suspicious mass, give them water, give them heaps. Beneath that stomach a sick pancreas peeps. Burps and farts still in your way, suboptimal scan is what we say. And now a bit about the liver. A Linda tip, I will deliver. If that margin's nice and smooth, delete images that might confuse. Irregular border, patchy texture. Is it real or just conjecture? What you see is what you take. 
Don't be lazy for heaven's sake. It's worthwhile. It's worthwhile to go the extra mile. It's worthwhile. It's worthwhile to go the extra mile. Um, all right. Well, there you have it. Um, that was Linda's tips and DJ Sono Mama. I hope you enjoyed that. And we will see you next time for whatever the hell might come up. All right, raise those probes and cheers to sonography. Hey, Linda. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Bye. Off the ego.